So I want to get back to the NBA here, but real quick, uh, I, I just reminded myself. Oh, let me, let me tell you about Zaslow Show 2.0 poll question today. Very controversial poll. Zaslow Show 2.0 poll question today. Go to Twitter, at Zaslow Show. That's my Twitter. You can always hit me up there. Or on Instagram, where I'm an influencer, at Zaslow J. But at Zaslow Show on Twitter. Right now, very controversial. Zaslow Show 2.0 poll. At Zaslow Show. Zaslow Show 2.0 poll. Where is your confidence level in the Panthers going into Tampa tonight and leaving with two points? That, that's the question. Very controversial. Where is your confidence level in the Panthers going into Tampa and leaving with two points? And your answers are high, going to take that ass, or low, they own us. <clears throat> there you go. Those are those choices. High, going to take that ass, or low, they own us. All right. Poll was just posted, so we're very early on in the voting process here. But you get out there, it'll be open all throughout the day. Let's see what you got. So go take part in that. Okay. Last night, I'm reminded, I had such a weird dream. Obviously, not because I watched Bird Box right before I went to sleep. I really enjoyed Bird Box. But I was feeling good about the heat. And in my dream, Jimmy Butler was traded. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. And I know that it's even crazier because the trade deadline's passed. But in my dream... I, I saw it flashed on the screen. Jimmy Butler's been traded. Actually, let me take it back. He wasn't traded yet. He, there were talks, and he had been informed that he's in the deal. All right. It was a three-way trade. Butler, I, I mean, Miami, San Antonio, and Denver. It was with Jimmy Butler going to Denver. I don't know how San Antonio factors in, but it was with Jimmy Butler going to Denver. It's Denver, they want that final piece. Be a great trade for Denver. And, and the Heat were getting back Jamal Murray from the Nuggets. A terrible trade. It's always hurt. I don't know why San Antonio or how San Antonio's involved, but it was a three way Miami, San Antonio, Denver. Butler going to Denver. Murray going to Heat. And, and, and I was very upset. The very upsetting dream. The nightmare. I'm glad it's not true. Very strange. I do think that there is a motivating factor when Jimmy Butler plays against the Sixers. He hate Now, yes, it's, a, it's his former team. He's tight with Embiid, though. But he hates that they chose Tobias Harris over him. Remember, what was it? it? It was the first year when Jimmy was here and he was yelling, Tobias Harris over me? Tobias Harris over me? He hates. And like, it, it is, it's crazy. That they chose Tobias Harris. They chose to pay Tobias Harris. Overpaying Jimmy Butler. Which is insane. <clears throat> Jimmy uh, Jimmy loves that. He, he loves to hate that. And last night. Great performance by Jimmy in Philadelphia. You know Tobias Harris left injured. Which leads me into. So a couple nights ago. LeBron got hurt. And LeBron ev ever so dramatic. I mean he finished playing the game. But LeBron ever so dramatic as to yell out. I heard it pop. I heard it pop. Continued playing. Lakers beat the Mavericks that night. But now it's looking like LeBron could be out a few weeks. Which is a huge bummer. Because whether you were rooting for or against the Lakers, it, it, it is or was an intriguing storyline the second part of the season. It's, I mean, it's crazy how much tension a 13th place team gets <coughs> in the Lakers. But they shook up the roster... Is LeBron going to miss the playoffs again? Most important 23 games uh, of his career, which is a crazy, stupid thing to say or think. But the Lakers right now are 12th. They're a half game back of the play-in at number 10. They're two and a half games back of number 6. And, and they played well recently, right? They won three in a row. Now you're not going to get to see it. Because LeBron's going to miss a few weeks. They're going to They're going to take a nosedive without him. And you know what's next, right? You know what's next. Anthony Davis is hurt. Anthony Davis can't just carry it on his own. Anthony Davis has to get hurt. So you got no LeBron now, it seems like, for the next few weeks. And you know Davis is going to get hurt. So it, just, it sucks because it was going to be a cool storyline the rest of the season. Watching with the Lakers, seeing if they can make that push. And then watching them likely lose in the play-in. And I, now we're robbed of that. 
Now they're just going to flat out miss the playoffs altogether. So that part sucks. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not a fan of LeBron anymore, but I wanted to see what the Lakers were going to do this final, what are we talking, month and a half of the season. So that does suck. So in, in other NBA news, last night the only other important game, like I told you, was, was New York. New York won their sixth in a row. They beat Boston. But And, and we'll do a little bit more, actually, NBA and big deal or not a big deal. But Charles Barkley yesterday was on first take. I want to do a little bit of this here. So Charles Barkley was on first take yesterday. And I, I can't, like they were talking about Durant, but I can't believe we're still doing the Durant and LeBron thing. Get Barkley a listen yesterday. What's the difference between what Kevin Durant did and what LeBron did when he went to Miami? In your eyes. Well, first of all, there's no difference. Uh, okay. But this is the problem. Kevin Kevin gets mad at me when I point this out. If you go back and look at LeBron, who I really admire and respect, he said this. I did not say this. He says, I had to win a championship without Dwayne to get old heads respect. Kevin, uh, Kobe Bryant said this too. He says, I have to win a championship without Shaq to get these old heads off my back. I, I hold Kevin Durant to the same criteria. Mm. I don't care what the media says. I don't care what the fan says. I'm talking about old guys like myself who went through the trenches. Kevin Durant going to have to before. Like, hey, he's all time great. But when it comes to being mentioned, with some of these other guys, he's going to have to win a championship where he's the leader of the team and he's the best player. So it's ridiculous that Stephen A. Smith, asked, like there's two parts this I want to talk about. It's ridiculous that Stephen A. Smith asked him in the first part, what's the difference between what Durant did and what LeBron did? It, it was 13 years ago. We're still talking about this? It was 13 years ago. And the fact that Barkley, and Barkley's been steadfast on this. He's had the same opinion the whole time. But the fact that we actually think LeBron coming to the Heat is the same thing as what Durant did, what the hell are we talking about? Durant joined a 73-win team that the previous year won a championship. LeBron joined a team that won 40-some-odd games, but was... was it was a completely new team. The only holdovers were Wade and Chalmers. So it, was, it was a team starting from scratch. LeBron joined, uh, uh, Durant joined a 73 win team. I can't believe I have to, I can't believe I have to argue this again. And LeBron left a Cleveland team where for seven years he couldn't get it done. Durant left an Oklahoma City team that blew a 3 1 lead. To the team he then decided to join. It's the all-time coward move. It's not even close to the same thing. It's not even close. I can't believe Stephen A. Smith's even bringing it up again. Anyway, the second part, though, I do think is interesting. The second part where Barkley is saying, now he says that LeBron said, I got to win without D. Wade. Kobe says, I got to win without Shaq. <laughs> now, Durant responded on social media yesterday saying, I don't recall LeBron ever saying he needs to win without D-Wade. And he's right. I don't think LeBron ever said that. But I think what Barkley's doing, I mean, I think Barkley is saying what LeBron is likely thinking, that I need to win one without D-Wade. Kobe definitely was, I need to win without Shaq. I think he's saying what LeBron's mentality was, not that he actually came out and said it. But, I, and, and I, don't, I don't even think that's true, by the way. I don't think LeBron was saying I got to win one without D-Wade because LeBron could have stayed with the Heat and Wade was not even, like, Wade was bad down the stretch of that 2014 season. Now he ended up finishing great, you know, uh, the last dance, 2019, coming off the bench, he was great. Even a couple years after that, you had the playoff series against Charlotte, then losing in Toronto, 2016. <coughs> like, what Wade, Wade ended up being really good his last few years with the Heat. But I don't think LeBron left the Heat because he had to win it without Wade because he essentially could have done that with the Heat. Wade was on the way down. LeBron was still way up here. LeBron left because he needed to win it in Cleveland. Not because he needed to win it without Dwayne Wade. And 
then he brought Dwayne Wade to Cleveland with him too. After they won, of course. So I don't think that's true what Barkley's saying there. But I don't think Barkley's making it up. I think Barkley's essentially saying what he believes LeBron believed in that time. I, I, just, I just think he's incorrect. But the Kobe part, got to win without Shaq, got to do this thing on my own. Like, he's right. Like, you can't have it both ways. And I think there's a little bit of that with Durant where no one is going to look at him the same way if he doesn't win, not in Golden State. He joined a champion. He joined a record-setting team. And that team, by the way, has still thrived without him. And what's he done, Durant, after leaving that team? It's been a joke. I mean, him and the team he was on have been a joke. And here's the thing, I've been saying this about Durant for a long time. Outside of Golden State, where he... And this is, you know... When we were talking about trading for Durant in the offseason, what do you give up for him? You, know, you give up everything. Eh, it's not like you give up everything for LeBron because LeBron, you're guaranteed to be in the finals every single year. That you could do. Or like in the NFL, Brady. You give up whatever it takes to get Brady because of Brady, you're in the... You, you gotta, Brady's in the Super Bowl more years than not. You don't do that for Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, it's most likely with Aaron Rodgers on your team that you're not going to get to the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers has played his entire career. He's been to and won the Super Bowl one time. It's extremely unlikely you'll get to the Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. Well, with Durant, it's extremely unlikely you're going to get to the finals. With LeBron, you got a good chance. LeBron's in the finals most of his career. With Durant... It's extremely unlikely unless he's with the Warriors. Because when he's not with the Warriors, this is his 12th year in the league. Not with the Warriors. He's been to the finals one time. <clears throat> one time. Now, I'm not trying to discredit what he did with the Warriors. But that was already a champion. And they got the all-time greatest shooter, one of the all-time greatest players on the team. And they were a record-setting team the year before he got there. Outside of being on... That team that he joined, Durant has been to the finals one time in his career. It's extremely unlikely with Kevin Durant on your team that you're going to make the finals. So forget win it. That you're going to make it. So I, I, I think Barkley, I, I think there's an element to what Barkley's saying that that's correct. The first part, I, I can't believe we're still talking about. I mean, come on. What are we doing there, man? Anyway, so tonight, let's see what we got going on tonight <clears throat> as far as the NBA goes. And as far as what we got to keep track of with the Heat, the standings, that whole deal. All right, you got Atlanta hosting Washington. Quinn Snyder's going to make his debut as the head coach tonight. The Hawks are a game back in the lost column of Miami. You got Milwaukee at Brooklyn tonight. All right, we're looking for Milwaukee to win that game. Maybe the Heat can gain a game in the lost column right there. Pick up some ground on number six, Brooklyn. You got the Lakers at Memphis. We know there's not going to be LeBron. We got, let's see... Uh, Indiana, Dallas, if you're interested in that, Luca, Kyrie Irving, that relationship, it's not so great so far. Maybe you're interested in that. I don't know. I'm not really interested. Golden State's host in Portland. Second half, the TNT doubleheaders, Minnesota, the LA Lakers. Everybody, let's, let's say a prayer for Kawhi Leonard. It was a very big deal. They played a double overtime game a few days ago. Oh my God, he played 46 minutes. Oh my God, he should get a raise. Yeah, give him a raise, he played 46 minutes. Everybody, let's light a candle and say a prayer, all right? Hopefully, Kawhi Leonard's going to be okay. I don't know. I know it's really difficult. Hey, if you're looking for a good time tonight, you want to get some good food, you want to get some good drinks, craft beer, craft beers on tap, what if we're talking a nice stroll on the beach and then some live music? Yeah, you know I'm talking about Briny Irish Pub. Briny Irish Pub, Pompano Beach. You got live music starting tonight at 6 p.m., it's Tuesday, so that means you got Mahi Taco Specials. That's right. Taco Tuesday, Mahi Taco Specials at Briny Irish Pub tonight. World's greatest upscale dive bar. Atlantic Boulevard all the way to the Atlantic. My man Adam, who owns Briny Irish Pub, I'm having lunch with him today. Looking forward to catching up. But you can catch up tonight with some great food, great drinks, all kinds of craft beer on tap. Atlantic Boulevard all the way to the Atlantic, and then park behind the Briny. 
take a picture of your tag, and your server will validate your tag. You will not have to pay for parking. Walk the beach, dip inside for some drinks. The briny hour, that's happy hour, starts at 4 p.m. 4 to 7 p.m., you got the briny hour, and you got live music starting at 6, and like I told you, it's Tuesday, so you got new Mahi Taco Tuesday specials. That's tonight at the world's greatest upscale dive bar, Briny Irish Pub, Pompano Beach. Yes, and of course, hey, if we're talking about just kicking back, maybe you want to stay home tonight, watch the Panthers on your couch, you grab yourself a six-pack of Johnny Cuba. The beer of choice in the Zaslow Mansion, Johnny Cuba. Head on out to your local Winn-Dixie, Fresco y Mas Sedanos, Presidente. I mean, what, what kind of beer sounds more Miami than Johnny Cuba? A refreshing German lager in a can right there on the comfort of your own couch. In the Zaslow Mansion family room, that's how we kick back. We watch the Panthers tonight. Pick up a six-pack of Johnny Cuba. Got some fun news regarding Johnny Cuba tomorrow. I'll lay that, guys on, I'll lay that on you guys tomorrow. But pick up yourself a six-pack of Johnny Cuba. Enjoy yourself a nice, relaxing Tuesday night. And don't forget, of course, Johnny Cuba's mantra. I practically live my life by it. Stay tranquilo. Let's get to big deal or not a big deal. Yes. Big deal or not a big deal. We got a few things we got to get to here before we wrap up today's show. Speaking of NBA injuries, another big injury yesterday. LaMelo Ball, non-contact, fractured his ankle. Non-contact, fractured his ankle. So obviously he's out for the year. He's going to be out for the foreseeable future. That's... That was weird. Okay, I heard some outside. That, let's start that over here. LaMelo Ball fractures his ankle. He's going to be out for a while. But I'm going, believe it or not, I'm going not a big deal here. At this point, the Hornets, they're, they want Victor Wembanyama. No LaMelo Ball. And they got a shot. No LaMelo Ball here the rest of the way. I mean, look, if they end up drawing the number one overall pick and they get Victor Wembanyama, it stinks that LaMelo Ball fractured his ankle. But everybody's going to look back at it in that organization like, wow, that kind of worked out. So I, I feel bad for him. But overall, as far as the Hornets go, I'm going not a big deal. Big deal or not a big deal. So last night, Giannis Antetokounmpo was on The Daily Show. Now, I don't know who's hosted. They got like a revolving door of hosts right now. It was some comedian. And they clearly put him up to it. You'll hear this. You could hear that he's reading off of a prompter. But still... Cracking jokes, taking shots. Give this a listen. Been these people this work. Kevin Durant, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you keep joining super teams to win the NBA title. How about how about we work out together sometime so I can teach you how to carry your own team? <laughs> now this is not a big deal. That's it's funny. It's clearly a joke. But while it's not a big deal, here's the thing. There's never been a more sensitive NBA player than Kevin Durant. So is Durant upset about that? I, I mean, we know it's so Giannis' personality. He's not trying to be friends with anyone else. He's, he's loyal to Milwaukee. He's going to win right there. He doesn't care about super teams. He, may, he probably believes what he's saying there. It was clearly a joke that was written by The Daily Show because you could see Giannis kind of struggling a couple times to read off the prompter. I'm going not a big deal. Big deal or not a big deal. Jason Tatum last night, in the fourth quarter of the Celtics lost the Knicks. Knicks won by 15. <coughs> Knicks were up the whole game. They've won six in a row. I don't believe Jalen Brown play, played last night. Jason Tatum got a little bit hot, got ejected for the first time in his career. Hart, corner three, puts it in. Josh Hart from downtown. And the Knicks back up by 14. Right in front of the Celtics pitch with the switch. Technical foul, Tatum is gone. If that's on Tatum, that's his second. Yeah, he's gone. Tatum was upset down the other end. And let the let it get the best of him. Automatic ejection. He's done for the night. I'm going a big deal, but not because he was ejected. Because now the Milwaukee Bucks are first in the Eastern Conference. The Bucks have won 14 in a row. The Celtics are dealing with a couple injuries. The, self, uh, the Bucks aren't even like at full strength because Middleton is still working his way back. And I think it's a sign of things to come. The whole year, Boston was the best team in the East, right? And now they may not even finish first going into the playoffs. To me, that's a big deal. Finally, got one more for you here. Udonis Haslam. 
recently quoted, he's going to retire this summer, but he still plans on being with the team every day going forward. He wants to be a minority owner. He's had conversations with the Arison family, said he'll deal with that over the summer, but he wants to be a minority owner and wants to be a minority owner who's there every day still helping the team. I love it. That's a big deal. I love it. UD, the, the greatest heat lifer. Still going to work. Still going to be around everybody. Of course you could be a minority owner. Here you go, UD. You give me this money. We give you this percentage. Let's keep this train to roll. Of course he's going to be a minority owner. That's a big deal. I love it. Love to see it. And that right there is another addition. A big deal or not a big deal. Yes. Yes. Excellent job by everybody. Putting together a great show today. I'll tell you what's also a big deal. I didn't watch my stories last night. I got to catch up on my stories. Monday Night Raw. We're on the road to WrestleMania here. What am I doing? I'll be doing that this afternoon. Then I told you we got a lot of basketball as far as both Zazlo boys. They got basketball games today. We're going to get home and we're going to watch the Panthers. I don't feel good about them. Go vote at Zaslow Show. What's our confidence level in the Panthers tonight? Come on. Go to at Zaslow Show right now. You could vote. What's your confidence level on the Panthers tonight going into Tampa and getting those two points? Right now, 82% is voting low confidence. They own us. Yeah, you guys are not confident. I'm not confident either. Can we start the show tomorrow? Feeling good about the Panthers getting them two points? I don't know. I don't feel great about it. Hey, Make sure you like, you rate, you comment, you do all that good stuff. However you're listening to Zaslow Show 2.0. Tell your friends, tell your family, wherever you get your podcast, that's how you listen to us. I got some cool news as far as Johnny Cuba goes tomorrow. I think you guys will like that. We'll talk to you on Zaslow Show 2.0 tomorrow. You know what that means.